Have you ever wondered what's going on inside the smart telescope while it's tracking the stars? With the new Vespera Transparent Limited Edition, now we are able to see what's going on here inside the smart telescope while we are doing astrophotography. And we should be able to see the tracking motors, the autofocuser motors, the optical tube, uh, maybe the battery. We'll uh, check in a few moments to see what's visible. But first, let's see what's inside the box and what you'll get with the Vespera X Limited Edition. Vespera 2 X Edition. Now let's unbox it. Voila. Look, my cat is back. She likes the limited edition, the X edition. Okay, and let's check this telescope out. Wow, look at this. We can actually see the telescope inside. So cool. So this is Vispera 2 X edition. I was really, really surprised. So they allowed us, allow us to see how this smart telescope works. So let's place it first on the tripod. Here we have the Vispera 2 X edition on the carbon fiber tripod. It is very lightweight and will allow us to also use the smart telescope when we travel. So let's see how heavy it is on the tripod. It's not that heavy. It's not lightweight, but not too heavy. Uh, we can easily take this telescope with us with our car. I will turn it around a little bit so you can see it. By the way, let me know what you think in the comments below. This is the optical tube. We'll check in a few moments the settings. We have 50 millimeters aperture and 250 millimeters focal length, and we have a focal ratio of f5. So we do have here a fast telescope. We have a refined field corrector, so we should have a corrected image. Vespera 2 X Edition is a smart telescope, it's not a uh, telescope that has an eyepiece, so we'll be able to uh, observe and stargaze uh, digitally by using a smartphone or a tablet. Uh, it does have the IMX585 color sensor, uh, 4K resolution sensor that uh, will allow you to capture 8 megapixels images. The sensor is 1 by 1.2 inch format and pixel size 2.9 microns. The app has a lot of features like a mosaic feature that will allow you also to capture more parts of the sky. You can get up to 24 megapixels instead of 8. And let's talk also a little bit about the mount system. We have an alt azimuth mount that it will track objects in altitude and azimuth. The carbon fiber tripod it seems to be very sturdy and lightweight and it will help when traveling with the Vespera 2 X edition. Regarding the weight it's not a very lightweight telescope it's heavy enough however I can still raise it in one hand you see I can still raise it but traveling a lot of on foot could be difficult. Why the Vespera X limited edition is not just a fancy looking telescope, but also a premium built telescope that is made to last a long time and also comes with a three years warranty. Let's start with precision. The mechanics are very well made and also we have 50 quality control checkpoints to ensure that the instrument remains consistent and accurate over time. So one of the premium feature of this telescope is precision and we can see also in some of the components like camera, counterweight, altitude motor, uh, chassis, front lens, azimuth motor. Also in the lower image we can see again more of these uh, components like warm screw, pressure spring, gear wheel that you'll basically be able to see them also through the transparent shell. So the first key premium feature is precision. The drive system is based on a warm screw paired with a gear wheel 
and the pressure spring. So this system will ensure that uh, the telescope will also work properly in summer and winter and will have a precise go-to and tracking. Then we have another key feature, robustness. This is a very solid build that weighs about 5 kilograms and let's see why. Here in this image it shows that uh, this Perex limited, limited edition has an aluminum cast chassis that provides exceptional rigidity while protecting critical components like motors, onboard computer, circuit board, batteries. Uh, so this is also an important feature that uh, will allow Vispera X to uh, last longer and uh, probably this is another reason that this telescope comes with three years warranty. Uh, we have also a clutch system uh, that allows the telescope, telescope's two axes to be moved manually without straining the motors or gears, protecting the instrument from accidental damage, uh, and a counterweight that will help balancing the weight and um, reducing motor strain. Now let's go to quality, and here we have the materials used to make the Vispera X edition premium materials like bronze, brass, stainless steel and aluminium. We have also a high performance plastic gear that was introduced to absorb vibrations and minimize motor noise. So we have also a silent telescope. Also on quality, we'll talk a little bit of the optical tube. It seems this telescope has a quadruple tachrochromatic lens that is superior compared with a traditional triplet or doublet design. Also, we have here ultra-low dispersion glass as a FPL52 with a built-in field corrector ensuring sharpness and perfect image across the field of view. A heater band at the end to prevent dew and we have also passive radiator placed next to the sensor that will dissipate the heat it generates and will also reduce electronic noise giving us better image quality. We have also accessories like light pollution filter, solar filter, dual band filter, backpack that you can buy them separately. Vispera X comes with a filter adapter on top of the optical tube that you can remove and I was really curious if I could uh, place a standard 2 inch filter here. And I was able to fit a, a narrow band filter and test it out with the Vispera X edition and it worked perfectly. So I think this is also another great bonus for Vispera X Limited Edition, having this adapter that can be used, it seems, also with other filters. I didn't see a special threat for the filter here, but I was able to fit it in and it worked. Now let's talk about the price. We have a retail price of uh, 2490 US dollars or 2290 euros. So we have here a premium limited edition uh, telescope build with also a premium price. It does come also with a carbon fiber tripod that it's very high quality. I've tested it and it's very stable. We've seen now the top features of the build and now let's go back and see that's a photography test and results that I obtained with the Vispera X edition. Oh, we're starting to have fog now. Now. <laughs> okay. Open Wi Fi settings. Uh, it shut it down if we didn't connect. We press long. We have to initialize. Okay. And let's see what we'll do. It will move the optical tube. Let's see. Initialization in progress. I think now it will play solve and uh, it will uh, find the position where it's pointing at. So let's wait and see until it finishes. And then we'll try to find past Andromeda galaxy. And after that, we'll try capture the moon. The moon will still be visible through fog. <laughs> so let's see. 
star pattern analysis it shows here so it's basically imaging the stars and uh, it will analyze the position focus correction it seems it will also auto focus and I'm not sure from this direction I cannot see the motors so I will have to uh, film again I have to, to check out check it off from this direction to see if which are the focus motors um, I have to check if we can now uh, shut down this uh, blue light in order to see better maybe with a, a headlamp uh, what's going on there because uh, the, that blue light is strong. You have to enter your address to uh, use GPS location. Okay, tracking autofocus. It will autofocus, it seems again. So, this is the first initialization, I believe. But the next time I will image, it will go faster. Autofocus 100%. Initialization successful. Uh, we'll go back. Click on Vespera. We have settings like storage, control, storage, image formats. Didn't know that I need to enable it. Safe is doing stacking observation. So make sure you enter also here on the settings and uh, enable raw images feeds. Stacking images JPEG. We can enable to save also a JPEG settings okay activate live focus switch to 5 giga activate detailing so i left it here enable a default okay multi-night observations I have on andromeda and expert mode acquisition of raw images go back we have here more options that we can choose from from nebula starcasters the moon we have here double nebula Hercules cluster. I will just go with um, search and select M31. Andromeda Galaxy and select observe. Advanced, standard mode, but multi. And now observe. Let's see how it points to the target. Look how it moves. Spiral Galaxy shows also information here about the, the target that we are imaging. Checking position accuracy. So now it's play solving again, basically imaging um, the region that is pointing at and checking if the position is correct or not. So let's uh, wait until it will finish and see the first images with Andromeda Galaxy. See a live stack. It started to cap. Okay, and I was wondering when the image will appear. Look. Yeah. And here it is Andromeda Galaxy. And this is uh, 20 seconds. It shows us the integration time. 30 seconds. Three images. So we are currently imaging with 10 seconds exposures. I just went default. It shows us how it looked before and after, I guess. From one, two, five, six. Six images. It's a little bit dark. I wish we could have uh, some options here. Let's see plus. What's this plus? Okay, reframe, restart autofocus, never multi-night, sportive, share, save photos, saving singularity, stop observation. These are the current options. Okay, so we'll just let it run and uh, be back in a little bit and check the plan.
So we captured Andromeda Galaxy and try to capture the moon. Let's hope it can find it through this fog. Whoa, and it's there. It's already focused. And see, we are observing the moon. Here it is, but it's too bright to see. We'll show you the screen recording. And I need also my phone to lower the luminosity. Look, <laughs> so nice. I have to not stay in front of the telescope. So let's see what we have here. Stop. We save to phone. Solar system. Let's see Jupiter. Observe. Recommend at least 60 minutes. Okay, advance. We'll uh, select the mosaic mode and we'll enlarge it. Activate multi night and observe. North America neighbor, let's try it. Observe. Double Nebula, 40 degrees, observe. Okay, finally. So let me know what you think in the comments below. What do you think about this unique design? The transparent shell that allows you to see the components of the telescope and how it uh, works in real time. Uh, unfortunately, the fog stopped me imaging more tonight, but we'll see you soon in more tutorials and astrophotography videos. More interesting videos are coming soon. And uh, if you like my channel, don't forget to subscribe, share the video, like it, comment, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want also to support the channel more, hit the join button, become a member, and you'll get access also to my astrophotography data. Affiliate links with the Vespera X Limited Edition are available in the video description, so don't forget to check them out if you want to own a unique telescope like this want to give thanks to all the channel members that supported the channel so far, it means a lot your support and hope I see you all in the next videos. Wish you all clear sky.